Okay, we have Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, and this is the GTX 1060. And apparently, ooh, I'm out of ammo. Is there more ammo back here, guys? Well, one thing you might notice is the frame rate is only in the 40s. Why is that? Well, actually, it's because we're playing the game at 4K, which is a little bit silly, but I was actually impressed that it was playable at 4K medium, although I would absolutely not advise playing the game at 4K on this graphics card. I just like testing it out from time to time. Let's hop down to 1440p, uh, which is a much more reasonable choice for this GPU, and then we will also test out uh, 1080p as well. Okay, now at 1440p at the medium settings, we can see the frame rate counter up here into the 80s, which means that actually, I think we should go ahead and jump up settings. Although, take a look here. At, I love that this game lets you flip the settings on the fly. Now, there's not a huge difference between the absolute maximum, which has the volumetric fog and screen space reflections all the way up, but if we go down one notch to ultra, which by the way, I've noticed this clicking doesn't work, but the left arrow on my keyboard does. This just turns a couple of things down to high from ultra. There's really not much difference there. So yeah, not, not a big difference there at all. But now we are again at ultra settings and you can tell there's a huge frame rate difference between ultra and medium. But Let's flip through these presets to see some of the visual differences, especially watch the distant grass. As we go down to the high preset, notice that the, the grass distance is much, much uh, lower. And as we drop down to medium as well, you'll notice a big change there as well. Also between high and medium, notice that the anti-aliasing technique drops down from temporal to FXAA. So that's another big difference as well as other other settings as well. Going down to low, you can really start to see some visual differences. And very low, we, you know, it, it doesn't look good, but the performance up there is over 100 FPS. Now, I think the settings that make the most sense on this graphics card, judging by this scene here is probably high if we're playing at 1440p, but we're going to go ahead and start out at the absolute maximum just to test things out. So this is 1440p at the maximum settings. And apparently I'm gonna have to use some melee attacks here because <laughs> I need ammo. Where, where's my ammo? Do I have a different gun? Well, I guess this one has ammo at least. We'll use this one a bit. So it looks like the game is playable maxed out at 1440p, but uh, playable is very different from ideal. So, I don't think I want to stay at these settings very long. You can see that we are in the 40s. And I doubt that this tutorial combat is the most demanding section of the game anyway. So let's not stay on those settings too long. Let's drop down to Ultra, which I don't think we'll see much performance difference. Again, the only differences that I noticed here were going from high to Ultra, or, or going down from Ultra to high on the screen space reflections and the volumetric fog, which I couldn't really see much Anyway, all right, so once again, so I, I think ultra settings here are still just not at the performance level I'd really be looking for. It looks like there's a skeleton sneaking up on me on the right there. Anyway, let's drop down to the high setting, which again, you can visually see the difference, but I have a feeling we're going to be holding around 60 FPS now. Not a perfect lock, but this does seem to be much, much better dipping slightly below. So, oh, I'm pushing the wrong button for melee. If I was actually playing this game and not benchmarking it, I would have adjusted some of my settings. I like my one of my mouse buttons to be melee when I'm playing first-person shooters. <laughs> but it defaults to V, which I, I don't like. Okay, well, I think we get the idea that the high settings at 1440p are really honestly pretty much probably where you'd want to go. Although on a shooter, you might want to go for a little better frame rate. Medium can do that, although honestly, I I might want to try out going with the temporal anti-aliasing on medium. Although, you know what, just for the sake of benchmarking, let's go ahead and use the actual preset. So I'll, I'll go with the actual medium, medium quality preset. <laughs> 
as it's written into the game. Whoa, we can see that there's a massive frame rate boost by going down to the medium settings. So if you're wanting 1440p at a pretty high refresh rate experience, I think that the medium settings are absolutely going to get you there. And I know that in a first person shooter game, a lot of times people are more interested in frame rate than visuals. Although this one isn't so competitive, it's more of a cooperative multiplayer experience to my knowledge. This is basically Borderlands, but in a fantasy setting. <laughs> and by fantasy, we mean it's, it's Borderlands characters playing a uh, Dungeons & Dragons style role-playing game with your uh, Borderlands style humor. Okay guys, I don't really see much point going below the medium preset at 1440p, so let's go ahead and drop the resolution. A lot of people with a 1060 are going to be uh, not a 1060, geez, on a 3060. I hope I haven't been mis misspeaking this whole time. This is a 3060. Uh, a lot of people would be playing on a 1080p screen where this is quite a uh, solid performer. And let's go ahead and absolutely max things out now at 1080p and get a benchmark on that. So yeah, it looks like at 1080p, we can definitely max things out. I've gotta be honest, something about the maximum settings in this game honestly looks a bit blurry to me. Maybe, is it the temporal anti-aliasing? Maybe? Looks a bit blurry. You know, there's always the random weapon abilities and drops and everything in these games. Always kind of fun. I haven't played Borderlands in a while, but always enjoyable to see what you get. Yeah, honestly, I don't see... Okay, I was going to say I don't see the need to turn down from the maximum, but right there we did drop down to about 59, which isn't the end of the world, but in a shooter, a bit better would be nice. So let's go ahead and test out some other settings. Dropping down to Ultra, I don't think we'll see much difference. Again, it was really just one or two settings uh, off of the maximum. Still looks a little on the on the fuzzy, blurry side to me, honestly. Yeah, performance seems about the same as it was before here. Again, depending on where we look, so I'm guessing there's there's more difficult scenes in the game where you could struggle a bit, but we can see in other scenes, um, your frame rate's pretty high. Let's go ahead and try out uh, the high settings. So high versus ultra, you know, there's ultra, 77 seems to be where it's settling in. There's high, 87, so it seems to be quite a significant performance boost going down to the high settings. Honestly, things don't seem quite as blurry to me now at the high settings, so I, <laughs> honestly, to my eye, I almost like this better. Um, I'm guessing there's some particular setting that I'm not liking the look of that we could narrow down if this was more of a graphics optimization video, but I'm going to say this is more of a let's just benchmark the presets kind of video. That's what I have time for at the moment. Yeah, it's looking like at the high settings, this scene where on the ultra settings looking at this house right here, we were dipping to around 60. Looks like we're staying over 80 now, so this is absolutely solid. Now, if you really just want to crank the frame rates at 1080p, let's see what happens if we go down to medium. Oh yeah, huge performance boost going down to medium. So if you're wanting to max out the capabilities of a 100, 120 FPS monitor and getting close to around, uh, you know, your 144 hertz display, whatever, it's looking like the medium settings will do that for you. And I don't really see the point of going lower, but just to round out the video, we might as well take a look at the low settings. <laughs> So if, if, you're, if your frames win games and you must have your 140, 160, you know, uh, you know, you could go down to low settings. Overall, I really like games that are very scalable, where you, you have a lot of control over the frame rate that you get and the visual changes that you are willing to accept to get there. Now, if you just want nothing but frame rate, 
you could go down to the very low settings, although I don't advise it. Overall, um, yeah, I think my conclusions are that at the uh, you know 1080p resolution, I, I really think high is probably the way I would go, just because we stay well above 60, assuming you have a better than 60 hertz monitor. If you have a 60 hertz monitor, you might as well go to ultra. Um, but in a shooter, I love being up in the 80s to 90s, and it seems like we're in better shape there at 1080p. And what was it, at 1440p, I think I recommended medium. I hope all of you have an excellent day.